businesses is freedom of movement. It's actually the, the one thing that too many of our politicians are so willingly ready to trade away. Yet it is the lifeblood of the tech business and the lifeblood of job creation in the UK. Um, I, I'm, I'm, based, I'm based in Liverpool, um, which is near Manchester. So um, we, um, and, and as you might see from my T-shirts, Liverpool for Europe. Um, it really should be Liverpool, Everton, and Tranmere Rovers for Europe, but that <laughs> wouldn't fit on on a T-shirt. But. Um, what I want to say is, uh, there's a kind of um, similarism in me being here, because I, I lived for many years in Cambridge, but I live now in Europe, uh, in Liverpool. Um, but you are all part of a genuinely national movement. Uh, me being here from Liverpool also reminds us that all the northern cities voted Remain. Uh, we are not just a bunch of cappuccino, middle class people in Putney, Islington, in London. Manchester, Liverpool, Sheffield, Newcastle, Glasgow, uh, Stockport, uh, all voted Remain. Uh, and they did so because there are vital interests at stake, and not least the issue of jobs and growth. So let me talk about um, the, the, the tech businesses and why it's so important that we stay in the European Union. Um, there are 5.2 million uh, entrepreneurs uh, in the UK. Um, the numbers growing. We're actually sort of reaching record levels of, of startups. Um, it's where most jobs are being created. Most net jobs are being created. Um, we're also in the midst of a technology transformation, uh, which will position the UK and the EU in, in, in vitally for the future. Um, just think about uh, companies like Skype and Transferwise, which are now in high growth, would not exist if it was not for the European Union. Um, the, um, it's also important to re recognise that, uh, according to Tech City, nearly 80% of tech founders voted for the European Union. And there are good reasons for that. And I say it's connected with freedom of movement. It's, in the UK, as part of the European Union, we are sitting inside the world's largest pool of talent. There is no good reason to leave that. None whatsoever. Um, for, for business owners and tech founders, it is free movement is the most important thing. One in seven of all UK businesses are set up by migrants. One in seven. Um, this is made possible by the ability to attract young, educated people with the maths and coding skills that we just don't have. The UK produces, believe it or not, less than 100,000 IT graduates a year. That is far too few to fuel the technological revolution that we need to create jobs for the little ones down here who will grow up in a very, very different world. Um, we need to produce uh, more jobs and more growth. For tech startups, we, we, if you think about it, we can't, small companies can't justify visas. Visas take time, they, take, they cost money, uh, they create red tape. Visas call, de cause delay. Uh, most tech founders would not justify the salary uh, threshold that a, a, a visa would require. Um, entrepreneurial visas are very hard to get hold of, even inside elite university institutions. And they're also quoted, so they're very heavily controlled. <coughs> entrepreneurs don't want deregulation. This is a complete myth. What entrepreneurs want is a common and single regulatory platform. A single platform for hiring talent. A, a single platform for intellectual property. A single platform for, for VAT. A single platform for the mutual enforcement of contracts. A single platform for targeting research spending. A single platform for people and talent so it can move around the continent. We're in the midst of a technology transformation right now and Cambridge is right in the epicentre of that. Um, Post-Brexit, hard or soft, um, the technology industry in Cambridge, in London and in Oxford will be hard hit. But believe you me, the technology industry in Manchester and Liverpool will be wiped out. Uh, it is not yet at a self-sustaining basis. It is absolutely critical we stay in. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the, the view that Brexiters have of trade. It seems like they believe we're still trading steam engines. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, while we're talking about machine learning algorithms, they're talking about you know, launching Britannia again and getting blue passports. They just don't understand what modern industry is all about. A great global Britain already exists now inside the European Union. <laughs> EU skills do not replace British jobs. They kickstart venture creation. They generate more employment for everybody. Entrepreneurs don't want to take back control. They want to unlock potential. Entrepreneurs don't want to keep people out. They want, they want to break down barriers and set people free. Cambridge, let's stay.